Come here, son, nephew, young man. Let me holler at you. Today is uh, the 24th of November. What folks in America like to call Thanksgiving. And I tell you, it's meant to be a happy time. And depending on who you ask and what their background is, maybe it's happy for some people. Maybe it's not. I'm not going to get into that, but what I am going to do is like what I usually do is address men and what men may be experiencing around this time of year. Because for some men, it ain't a happy time and not due to historical facts. And I'm going to give you a bit of a disclaimer. I'm in Louisiana. A couple of days ago, it was freezing. Right now, it's 80 degrees. I don't like to change my central air from heat uh, to cold and back and forth. So I got a... Um, window unit on for times like this and the fan i know it's making some noise in the background pardon me but um you know my house and my compressor and my central air conditioner is more important than youtube so if you want the information stick around if not i understand i ain't mad at you <clears throat> i notice uh a lot of these knife carrying people they like to know what uh other folks who carry knives are carrying on them at the time so today I got my Zero Tolerance 0350, one of my personal favorites. I like spring-assisted knives. Some people don't. And, um, you know, hey, that's my hard-earned money. That's what I wanted. And in my offhand today, I got the Spider Co Persistence. These little Spider Co's are addictive. I like a serrated edge or a combo blade, rather. Um, so, most likely, if I got to cut something, it'll be with this. And somehow power tools stop working. Maybe if I, I want a delicate or a very precise slice, go with this fella here in that S30V blade. Love that zero tolerance. Love both of those. Those are two of my favorites. All right. Oh, you know what? I don't know if it matters, but this is a Casio AE1500. This is a bad little watch. I'm not wearing my nice watch today. It's going to rain. It's raining right now, as a matter of fact. It's raining right now. So, I got on, uh, you know, suede cowboy boots I'm not wearing. Um, I got my work-style western boots on. I'm not wearing my good boots or my good watch or anything like that. All right. So, anyhow. And um, if anybody's watching... Uh, who's a watch person, I don't know. I'm almost thinking about doing a separate channel for watches, knives, gear, um, that type of thing. And if I need to separate that from this channel, somebody indicate that if that's the case. And if I don't get any feedback on it, I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Now, here's the deal, men, especially younger men. When you... Let me tell you something. I freed myself from these commercialized holidays a long time ago for various reasons. But here's the main thing. Men already have pressure on them to perform. That is your duty to perform, to take care of your kids. In my case, uh, my father passed when I was 16. My mother's a widow, so... I have people depending on me. I got other things to worry about. And when you really look at it, what is what is what do you gain from buying a whole gang of food that you're not going to eat all in one day or having a whole bunch of folks over and then you have to clean up after them, but then you got to get out and work and my my work days are long sometimes cuz I do more than one thing. Um Buying all that stuff because, you know, uh, Black Friday is tomorrow. So now you got all this consumerism. I'm more focused on producing in life. So guess how much we spent for uh, today? And guess how much we're going to spend for Black Friday? Now I'm going to buy my children some stocks. And uh, or, or some parts of stocks, depending on what there is, you know, because the market's crazy right now. So we might just go on Webull and just buy portions of stocks. We're going to take some looks at it. I should have got us in better position beforehand because we probably could have made uh, a little profit selling 
today and tomorrow, but no worries. But for some men, I just want to encourage you to keep prioritizing what's necessary. Let me tell you something. Since we freed ourselves from this day and the the day that's supposed to celebrate the resurrection of Yeshua the Christ, which really isn't the day he was, uh, excuse me, the birth of Yeshua the Christ, which really isn't his birthday. These are actually, um, this is the time span where it's the, they're having the Jewish feast days, not, um, and when I, I said Jewish, I'm sorry, Hebrew feast days. Um, you know, buying all those presents. Let me tell you a story about my son and when I knew, okay, I'm going in the wrong direction. One year, I asked my son, he was about seven years old, what you want for Christmas, dude? He says, I want uh, an Xbox One, and I want the Kinect thing to go with it. I want this game and that game and some toys and this and that. And uh, at the time, I was still married, and we had a little small Christmas tree. We didn't have time to put up a big tree that year anyway. And we had a little box that went with it that was right about my son, I guess he was what? 5'2 at that time, maybe something like that. I don't know. So the box itself was probably like four foot eight, right? So Christmas Day comes in that particular year. I'm looking for my son and I can't find him. He's in the top bunk of his uh, bunk beds and his TV stand was right up even with the top bunk. He's in the box with his head sticking out watching the... Uh, <laughs> watching cartoons right so he takes the box and moves it to the living room and he's in the box he's rolling in the box he's going in one end of the box and coming out the other and back again and that xbox just collected dust i had to make him play it i'm like bro i spent over a thousand dollars on all this junk you're gonna play this game okay dad but i'm just happy here being with you and with my box so guess what my son loved me just as much whether I bought all that junk or not. So we stopped doing it. I'm teaching him to produce, to save, to invest, and to prioritize what actually makes sense. And if there's anything to give thanks for, like we're going to see some family today who invited us over. Okay. You know, it's good to have somebody who cares enough about you to call and say, hey, I hadn't heard from you in a while. How are you? Why don't you come over and get something to eat? That's what matters. Um, and men can be in all types of predicaments come the holiday season. You got everything from men being homeless. Maybe they're overseas uh, serving in some type of military capacity. Stressing because of bills or, or going through a divorce or who knows what. Don't add this to your stress prioritize what matters number one your health and your mental capacity because if folks are, are depending on you you can't fold bro you can't afford to the people around you can't afford for you to fold because i bet i've never done the statistics on it but i bet suicide rates among men spike around this time don't put that pressure on yourself don't let the consumerism consume you you don't have to buy anything. And if you do, it doesn't have to be expensive. Don't put that on yourself. What matters? Could you be purchasing something that will uh, increase your revenue or give you another revenue stream? Or do you have to purchase anything at all? Some people don't get along with their families. I was watching a channel called Man of Tomorrow. <clears throat> and he was talking about how some people just go out overseas and do different things. And if that's what makes you happy as a man fine but you know this whole happy wife happy life thing man don't let no woman drive you crazy buying some junk you don't need because if your kids are still going to love you and that's the most innocent love that you can get why would why would why would somebody need these material things for them to love you something's wrong if that's the case and i hope you're not married or stuck with somebody like that i was and i'm free baby Free at last, free at last. Thank God I'm free at last. That's, a, that's another man's problem now. And when I see that joker, he's just looking at me like, you mf. -er. I see why you left. The eyes tell it. The eyes tell it. But anyway, enjoy yourself. Rest. You might want to sleep the whole day. Man, do it. Say hello to your people. Give them a hug and a kiss and 
so forth and so on. Now, I know today is halfway over, but tomorrow, don't be out there fighting with people in these. Okay, now, if there's something you need, there's something you need, and it's a good purchase, and you know you can save some money. Okay, but you can probably order that same thing online. Don't. Do you really need to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning for Black Friday sales? And I don't know. We're um, we're in a recession and folks aren't aren't getting that CV-19 money. So uh, this may prove uh, otherwise because I've been seeing a lot of these retailers laying people off. But either way, men, take care of yourself, your health, your mental health, your physical health. That's what matters. That's what you need to be thankful for. And if you're a Bible believer like me, salvation in Yeshua the Christ. And if not, whatever. There's something to be thankful for. But you don't need to stress yourself out and run yourself ragged to buy some junk that you might not even use come next year. Prioritize, gentlemen. Prioritize. Because come Monday, it's time to get back to work. And it's time to do what men do. And if you put yourself in a bad position, oh my God, don't put this stuff on credit. Good God Almighty, please don't put yourself in that position. Anyhow, I just want to encourage you, men. Enjoy the eat, drink, be merry. Do something you want to do if you can, but don't run yourself ragged. Don't stress yourself out. You are not less of a man if you don't buy a bunch of junk and you don't do a bunch of stuff you don't want to do. And as always, never lose the will to win and never lose the will to survive.